in check. Once a time on my shifts at around 11 a.m. Yeah, this is key worker. At about 11.15 hours, I went with Abby Batu Hadi with St. Mungo's Locum to start the room checks. Mm -hmm. When we got to room 107 in the mail cluster, I knocked several times on Edward's door and called his name and identified myself as Stark. There was no response. Mm -hmm. So I now start coming in. I'm going to open the door and I proceeded to use the master key and carefully push the door open. I saw his feet and then his bottom and informed Abby that he was naked and unresponsive. I asked Abby to hold the door and I was still calling his name and went to touch him on his back, saying, Ed, Ed. I used the radio to call for assistance and extra stop. Reception called 999. So they've done a body check, so this, this is what I'm saying, that, that, that there's nothing untoward like that, because if there was any marks on his face... Yeah, just tell me what TC said, because... I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just saying that they've done a body search, because I know what they do, that they've got to check the face... Yeah, but I'd like to hear how she said it, because I know... That's them. it. What? That, that, that's, is that the... that's her statement, this is now from somebody else. Oh, who's that then? Please. PC uh, James 155. James Towley? No, this is a PC James. Oh, James. Uh, uh, rolled um, the deceased on his side, observed the front of his body, had no concerning lacerations or bruising. It's good to know, you see. This is the stuff you need to know. However, that it was clear that blood had uh, poured to his face following his death. Wow. I was satisfied that the death was not suspicious. Right. And as I said, that's that's what the police have done. That's very good to know, you see. Okay, For the rest of my life, you, I, I wanted to give you some peace Lord, of mind. This is my so, mind, you know. It is so all... I don't make it up because I know no. how to do all of this. That's right. This yeah. is what we, this Thank is what you. we do. This is all very good. They've also got it on body worn video. So when they actually go there, they put it on body worn video as Fabulous, well. Fabulous, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did they leave him in the room? Is it so they... Right, this is important. Let's, yes. Let's finish what we're saying. Yeah. Uh, male found alone in locked hostel room, crack pipe in hand. So that's why they're saying it's believed to be a drugs overdose. They've checked the CCTV. CCTV shows no visitors overnight, no injuries. So there's no indication of foul play. So they've checked the CCTV as well. Yeah, um, he didn't have any money uh, to buy crack. Uh, he got a bag of heroin. So it's a bit odd he's naked with a crack pipe in his hand. It's a bit odd. You know, I know, because I gave him £40 a day. This, this, I can't come up No, I know that, but no, I mean, it makes me laugh in a way, because I said, oh, we should bury him with a crack pipe in his hand. And now you say he had one in his hand, so... Uh, but we're not going to know yeah. until... Yeah, the good bit is he had no lacerations yeah. around his yeah. neck, he had no bruising. No. These are the things that are on site. This, this yeah. is my peace of mind, my family's peace of mind. Yeah. And nobody told us, and they apparently kept him in the room for eight hours, but my I, cousin... I is, don't know. My cousin is a nurse said they would have naturally taken him... C that doesn't make CPR, sense. And then take him to the hospital? No. They you wouldn't? No, because if, if somebody is dead... Yeah. Well, I don't know. No, no, what I'm saying, you do CPR when somebody's alive. Yeah, they did attempt CPR, they said. Well... At the hospital, they said the paramedics came and the police came, and they attempted CPR. Let's see where that is. Well, quite honestly, I don't... That would be difficult, but doing CPR on somebody who's really dead is not going to bring them back from life. No. And there is a certain point where yeah. CPR... But the ambulance checks for signs of life. Um, you can't necessarily tell someone's dead until... There can be very small traces of life still left. In yes, but the LAS have verified death at 11.42. LAS is what? London uh, Ambulance yeah. Service. So what I'm saying is, very that that's where 
it wasn't verified at the hospital mm. and you wouldn't verify death and then do CPR. But isn't it that um, a doctor has to no. confirm that... No, it, it can be a police officer... Or a paramedic. Anyone. A paramedic or yeah. police officer. and this is a paramedic. So a paramedic at 11.42 is verified death. Yeah, OK. And why didn't they move the body then? Uh, that doesn't make any sense because what's supposed to happen is once you've done that, you you just call up Floyd's. Floyd's is the funeral director and the body would be brought here. I can't answer that part. Yeah. The process is... It was in there for eight hours. Well, you I called up find at, out. I Look. called up at six o'clock. I said, can I speak to my brother? And they go, oh, good you know, I then said, phone back, and I said, look, can I speak to my brother? And they went, oh, this is very difficult. Your brother's passed. What? I was like... As the police contacted you, okay. oh, this is, I know, I was like, I just hung up on them. And then, um, I told my whole family, there's seven of us, Patrick, came from Tunbridge Wells to see him, yeah. brought, brought him a McDonald's even though he's dead, yeah. but he's very Irish, you know, he just wants to hug up his brother. Yeah. I saw him the night before, he, he kissed me goodbye, but not, as he went off with his mountain bike, you know, fit as a fiddle, um, and funny as anything. So... Patrick came up and then they said, we've moved him. It's like, well, and then they said, call Kentish Town Police Station because no one knew where they'd moved him to. That's poor. Can I just double check? Is this your mobile now? 07916? Yeah. 325-037? Yeah. I've had no visit from the police, no information from St Mungo's, didn't know where his body was until Steve told me. And, and, and these conflicting ideas of, you know, I just want to know, has he got any breathing, you know, has he got any ligatures? Because I don't trust anything anyone's saying. Well, well, until yeah, I yeah. see it, I don't... Well, I believe TC, because I know Mary, TC. Mary, let me just say that the, the police can't lie on that because it's on body worn. So what, when they actually say yes. that there is no marks... Yes, then I can get Patrick to get the body worn camera. Yeah. Yeah. So well, that's that, all I need to know, Floyd. Um, no, Floyd. So, 